Hey guys, how's it going? Spencer here. And today I wanted to do a video on my new to me Chevy Silverado 1500. This is a 2016. It's got the 5.3 liter V8. It's the double cab, so it's got the little bit smaller rear door, but a little bit longer bed. Uh, I'm going to do a quick walk around. There's a couple things that have been done to it. I'll show you that and then um, kind of talk about things I like and dislike. Um, all obviously just my personal opinions. Um, if you guys are subscribers and you're watching, you know, I do a lot of um, Toyotas, so it's a little bit different um, for me, but uh, let me explain why. So uh, let's do a quick walk around here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We got all sorts of fun um, power sports, toys, trucks, cars, you name it. So definitely subscribe. But yeah, this is a black exterior with a black interior. Um, really what I was going for um, more recently was uh, I need a little bit more bed space. And uh, I was looking at a Tundra. But the problem with the Tundras is you either get the really big cab and small bed, or you get the really small cab like this and a really big bed. Uh, I think it kind of looks funky in my opinion. Um, and then on top of that, the main reason why I didn't go with one is I wasn't looking at a new one. I was looking at pre-owned and all the pre-owned Toyotas have, you know, hundred thousand miles for 30 grand, which is ridiculous. I was able to pick this up certified pre-owned. So full two years left the warranty, two years worth of maintenance for 32 grand. So in my opinion, this is a better buy. Uh, this also has, uh, 27,000 miles on it now. So fantastic. But yeah, let's go ahead and go through. Um, enough of that. You guys came to see this truck. So this one's got a leveling kit on it, um, which I think looks really good. You'll also notice this is something nice. This is actually an add-on on the front and the rear. I believe on the front it's standard rear. It's an add-on, but um, this felt lining helps with sound detonation. So um, whenever you're in the vehicle, it's really quiet. These are factory wheels. They're uh, 20s. Let me get you the exact size here. 275, 60, 20. Uh, it's a factory um, chrome wheel. And then those are Falcon Wild Peaks, which are a good all-terrain tire. Um, it's an okay setup. Eventually that's gonna change since I want less rim, more tire. On the front, this is another cool feature that I love from Chevy. Uh, HID headlamps, LED daytime running lamps, big turn signal, and then LED fog lamps. So that was an add-on for this particular truck. This is an LT, uh, if you guys were curious. And so, you know, what it comes with first is the add-ons. I'll have to show you the window sticker, which is pretty nice. It has a lot of add-ons. Big tow hooks up front, um, big chrome grill. I'm not a huge fan of all the chrome, in my opinion. I'm hoping to get it all kind of monotone at some point, but I gotta figure out if I'm doing a wrap or not. Um, the other thing I hate is the black. You can see how dusty it is. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. Um, and this is only maybe a week's worth of driving without washing it, um, which is kind of crazy. And then you can actually see it back on the side here. Yeah, so it's just dirty, which kind of sucks. Um, LT, like I said, Silverado badging on the back, big Chevy emblem in the middle. This particular one has the backup camera. This was not a standard feature, so that, that was an add-on. Um, soft open tailgate. Another thing I was really looking for, I love that. A lot of the new Toyotas do that, but again, I was looking at, you know, pre-owned. Um, and like I said, I could get two years newer, way less miles and certified for the same price as the Toyotas. Uh, I believe this is a six and a half foot bed. Um, I'll double check and leave it in the description if it's a six, but nonetheless, um, either way, lots of space. You have LED lighting underneath. That was an option, L uh, lighting, excuse me, up top. So you can really see when loading and unloading. Benefit to me was I needed towing and I needed bed space. Uh, I do the snowmobile, so like you guys saw in my trailer, I'd like to just keep it in the bed and that's gonna allow to do so. Uh, this one shows 9,200 pounds. It's got the big trailer hitch from factory, spare tire underneath, and then really nice lights at night. Um, these actually work really well to light up the license plate, which is cool, but uh, both plugs. So I can tow the boat, can tow the, um, Snowmobiles, so on and so forth. That was a big, big piece of it too. Um, these I think look funky, but very usable. You got a little handle right here and it's really easy just to hop up and in and out of the bed. So kind of cool. I don't know, it's a little cheesy, but whatever. Again, don't love the Chrome back there, but is what it is. You can see the Falcon Wild Peaks back there. So let's go ahead and check out 
the two doors here in the cab. So if I open up this rear door, it opens up almost 90 degrees, which I love. And it's all pretty good quality. This is soft touch for the most part throughout here. This is a hard plastic, but you know, you got to give and take a little bit. I think that's really why I never wanted to consider the Chevys is because it was a lot of hard plastic and bad quality back in the day. But you know, the newer ones are pretty, pretty sweet. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, power window controls there, obviously big door handle, power locks, of course, lots of storage, which is really nice. And then cup holder. And then mine came with the all weather floor mats, which is really nice. Lots of storage back here. Um, if you guys have seen my other videos or just to kind of give you an equivalence in space, um, I'm about six foot. I'll hop in there and show it to you in a second here, but I'd say it's equivalent to a four door, true four door um, Toyota Tacoma. So any of the second or third gens, it's about the same amount of space. So that's set up to how I sit. And then if I hop in here, which you have the big handle, just pop right in. Um, excuse me, let me get these uh, keys out of my pocket. I still have a couple inches. Um, the back is really the only piece that's kind of more or less uncomfortable just because it's more upright. Um, but it'll do, you know, whenever we, whether we go snowmobiling or go up to the mountains, you know, we're only doing about an hour or so driving a couple hours at a time. This is fine. If you're doing a really long road trips where you might get some complaining, but for kids and stuff too, it's not bad at all. These flip up lots of storage. This, uh, I believe previous owner added this. Um, I don't even know if it's from Chevy. It might just be an aftermarket product, but it's nice to have the under storage kind of been there and then that side will fold up as well power outlet no um and storage but no vents which is kind of weird i think on the bigger crew cab the true four-door you get those but that's okay not the end of the world gas cap here um it's funny it doesn't really have any information about it there's a little hook for it there um, but i believe it is a flex fuel so you can put in um, different types of fuel which is good here's this side it's gonna look the same as the other side, of course. I got some cleaning products in the back of the seat. But yeah, it suits my needs as far as, you know, carrying, I don't have a ton of people that come with me. Usually it's only a couple anyways. So to me, it was kind of worked out um, having that. And then this is an LT. LT gets you the power seats on this side. Um, big, comfortable seats. That's actually something I really like about these Chevys. It's a really comfortable seat. It's kind of like a couch. And then mine uh, has the upgraded center console instead of a six person configuration. So that was something I was looking for too. I hate the middle, I'm never gonna take six people. So, you know, I figured why even look for a truck with that? I'd rather have this anyways. And it worked out. This one kind of fit the, fit the bill. So a ton of storage down there, two cup holders here. And then check this out. You have all these different power ports. So normal household plug, two uh, 12 volts, and then two USB ports there. Those just flip down wireless charging in the middle, soft padded. I don't think it's leather, but it's a nice kind of synthetic. This just pulls up for easy access. And then you have a 12 volt over there and then two USB ports right there and auxiliary and a little cord place right here. So that way your cord doesn't get pinched. Ton of space down there, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, the nice thing about that is it's all very easy to access, easy to use, easy to store. And then your power is awesome. Um, that was a big piece. Kind of being out in the field you definitely want to have that and then i have my phone on me but um these are actually for your phone so you can put them upright in there which is really cool um here's the bed light right here and then traction control off um some of the other like nicer gm uh, c's or chevys have other buttons kind of filling the space there but i don't think i'm missing a whole lot this one also has the upgraded uh, auto climate so you have true dual zone climate all your zones in the middle turn it on and off and then uh, heated seats as well. So all that was an option. This standard is usually just a one or two kind of spin knob with the um, traditional no automatic climate, um, but mine has that. And I'll show you why that and these are a benefit in a moment. I'll get in and start it up in a minute, but it's got the big display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead. Oh, we'll show you these. Got one and two glove boxes, which is kind of cool. Speakers up top. Um, speakers down below it's a six uh six uh speaker audio system and the guy at the dealer told me they're actually bose components which is interesting enough this is another thing that mine came with that was an upgrade so i'm going to lock it long press and hold and that'll start right up you can see these leds are on 
you can see the camera's kind of making them twitch, but um, that was a huge thing for me because this winter when it's freezing and I'm ready to go get in my truck or if I'm snowmobiling or whatever it might be, I want that feature. Toyota doesn't offer that. It's my case against it. All power seats, really nice floor liners down below. Pedals are in a good position for me personally. Um, we'll go ahead and look under the hood real quick. It uh, actually turns off the truck when you don't have for a remote start. I'm gonna go ahead and start that back up. We'll cut on these headlights too so you can see that, the fog lamps, hazards, all that good stuff. So these are the full headlights. LEDs, turn signals, and LED fogs, like I was saying. And then what I like is they have struts. So it's kind of their own version. They're not those traditional struts, but it holds up the hood, um, which a lot of brands don't. Big V8, 5.3 liter. Um, I don't know the exact specifications. I think it's around 300 horse. Um, pretty similar in torque. Plenty for me. The big thing I love about this is it is an Ecotech. So Ecotech will basically shut off uh, four cylinders or deactivate four cylinders when you're on long stretches, you're not really using a lot of power, things like that to conserve fuel. So around town recently, I've been getting about 15 and a half to 16 miles per gallon, which is, in my opinion, fantastic for in city. Um, highway is gonna be a whole nother thing. I haven't really had a chance to drive a lot of highway yet, but as soon as I um, do that, I'll have to share the figures with you guys, because uh, it's pretty interesting, uh, which is cool. Uh, another place for another battery there, uh, you have your other main battery back there. I just love how much space is in here. Um, the 5.3 fills it out well. If not, there's a 6.2, I believe, that you could also get, but honestly, after driving both, this suited my needs fine. Um, the other great thing about the Chevys is they have a great little exhaust tone. Sounds pretty good in my opinion. So let's go ahead and close this up, show you a couple things on the interior. Close that. Don't need those on. Can go back to auto. Um, the other cool thing, this is a um, four-wheel drive control, of course, obviously, two, four, um, four low. But this is a two-speed transfer case versus my Tacoma that I had was a one-speed. So what that means is when you go into four-wheel drive, you can do this really at any speed. On the Toyotas, you can only do it up to about 55 to 60 miles per hour. The bummer about that on the Toyotas, or at least what I found out, is when you're at highway speeds and it becomes really chunky, snowy, bad weather, um, you need to slow down. And sometimes you can't do that. Traffic doesn't allow that. So nice thing is you can just flip this on any speed and it goes right away. Low, of course, will be nice for off-roading this uh, next summer. And then you have brake control here. You can control your gain. Uh, it tells you all up on the dash. There's tow haul mode. So you just press that, it'll indicate right there in the dash. That'll actually change braking as well as downshifting for grade downshifting. Um, you have the plus and minus there. I love this big controller, which is awesome to put it in and out of gear. Full leather wrap steering wheel, um, cruise control on the left side, all your audio controls on the right, and then your turn signal there. It does do one touch. The other cool thing that's neat is when you have a trailer and you're in trailer tow haul mode, it'll actually double your blink. So instead of three, it'll do six to eight, I think it is. And um, that's a nice safety feature whenever you're changing lanes with your trailer. Um, all your windshield wiper controls there, big, big vents throughout. Um, no sunroof, that's one thing I did want and no rear sliding glass, but that's okay, not the end of the world. Um, another cool feature is when you open up these mirrors, they come on slowly so it doesn't blind you. All your lighting's LED. It's very, very quiet in here, like I was saying little um, holder for glasses up top, um, lighting controls, things like that. And then OnStar in the middle, SOS in case you're in an accident, it'll actually call. And then this is for an in-car phone, which is kind of cool. Um, also with that, you have in-car Wi-Fi. all your antennas and stuff are up top. Um, in-car Wi-Fi, so true, true connectivity. Now, if we go ahead and close the door, listen to that. Pretty solid, not too much movement, which is nice. These are one touch down on all four. Um, drivers is all electronic, you know, one up, one down. This one has a um, window tint already, which is kind of cool. A Little bit of a kind of blind spot mirror on the exterior, which is definitely nice to have. You can lock out for both your windows as well as your child locks, so no one can get in or out. Um, or excuse me, no one can get out from the inside. You'll have to get them out from the outside, which is nice. And then 
power locks there. It actually does lock itself whenever you go into gear. You can kind of hear it lock and unlock there. And then all your mirror controls up there, you just have left and right. Those are heated as well. I mean, pretty standard stuff. Um, on the control here, we'll turn that down. It's got Sirius XM, AM, FM. This one also has navigation as an upgrade. The other big piece to that four-wheel drive system I wanted to share is this one has the G80 locker. That G80 locker is awesome. So definitely if you're um, considering something like off-road, snow, any of that kind of bad weather, you'll you'll want that G80 locker. Basically what it is is an automatic locking rear differential that'll make both wheels spin at the exact same time and give you ultimate traction, um, which is awesome. Navigation there, home, you'll see projection. You have to have it plugged in, but it is for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. A couple of their little built-in suites, which is nice. You have um, all your weather information. If you go back home, you can actually text traffic, which is kind of cool. And then audio, which is for your radio. I'm gonna turn that down so it doesn't get any uh, <laughs> weird stuff going there as far as your, uh, and then down below you have um, heated seats and automatic climate. Reason why I was showing you guys that remote start is these work in conjunction with the remote start. So all this will basically come on and automatically heat up if it's cold, automatically cool down if it's hot, which is awesome. That is something I didn't know I needed until now. And let me tell you, it's already something that's awesome. You can also have remote start from your phone with OnStar and all your connective apps and uh, do it from anywhere in the world. So sometimes in the house, I can just hit it, it'll do it. If you're you know, coming down from that snowmobile trail and you can't reach it with your key, you can do it from your phone, which is just really cool tech. Um, backup camera whenever you're in reverse and the guidance lines move. And then I won't play you guys any music because it won't come through good anyways. Sirius XM isn't the best quality, but when you're on um, Bluetooth or something like that, the speakers are awesome because they're Bose components but they don't have a Bose uh, subwoofer, so they don't um, label it as Bose. But let me tell you, it sounds awesome. You have two big ones up top, two big ones down below, and then two in the rear, and it's a really good sound system. So definitely impressed with all that. Um, that's kind of it for everything I can think of that I wanted to go over. Um, the one thing that's kind of annoying, I guess, um, for me, uh, some of the gripes that I have. I'll show you some of these quick. I like that the gauges sweep. You'll see this if I turn it on. It'll go like this, there it goes. So kind of cool. Um, the thing that I hate so far, or that's annoying, is whenever the sound system is on really loud, it rattles the door a little bit. So some of that's kind of annoying, but I'm sure I can fix that. Um, I guess it's a testament to the speakers, more or less. Uh, but yeah, there's your middle instrument cluster, I'm getting 50 miles per gallon, I've gone 109 miles. Uh, bottom right corner, it'll tell you if it's in V8 or V4 mode depending on like i was telling you about that cylinder deactivation um, fuel remaining 274 miles so almost 400 miles per tank which is pretty good oil life of 96 percent tire pressure average uh, transmission fluid temp if you're towing obviously that's good to know um, if i had a trailer connected it would tell me there this is a cool screen um, it tells you you know where your truck is leaning forward, back, side to side. And then if it was in, you know, four wheel drive, obviously it's an auto. So um, it says all wheel drive, but the rear tires are the ones that are moving as of now. It's kind of set to default. And then if you go over here, you can also do audio. You can do phone, navigation. I'll give you a little compass and then options. It's kind of more or less like settings. Um, so all that's really cool. Um, and then I like your big display of gauges here. Obviously if I were to rev it, it would um, show the tack go up and then the oil pressure as well battery over on the far left engine temperature fuel and then your speedometer on the right and then down the bottom it'll show you what gear you're in if you're in manual it'll also show that too so one or two things like that um yeah so that was just kind of my video i know it wasn't quick um you guys are obviously more than welcome to kind of jump around throughout the video um but definitely wanted to kind of discuss um, reason why I got this and what I think so far. So uh, I've had it for about a week now. So far, so good. Uh, I've towed with it uh, twice now and um, obviously uh, it's done really well. You know, it's a good, good American truck. And um, the one thing I love so far is the ample power from that V8. So let me know what questions you guys have. Um, tried to cover as much as I could think of, but um, definitely let me know what questions you have and if you're looking to buy one and I'll try and help out. So anyways, uh, stay tuned for more coverage. Um, I'll have some more snowmobiling stuff coming soon, more truck stuff coming soon as well. And um, yeah, so subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.